it's another battle of the beers and this time it's a battle of the German export beers and in the red corner coming in at 5.6% ABV we have a bottle of Augustina Brau Idle Stoff and in the blue corner weighing in at 5.2% ABV we have a bottle from the Tangazi Brewery of their Max Joseph. So, if you'd like to see who wins the Battle of the Beers, stay tuned. Today we have another battle of the beers and Mock Veganism, a subscriber to the channel, keeps asking for this one. So like I listen to you subscribers and when you keep um, asking me for stuff, I will deliver, I will deliver. So here it is, this is the battle of the beers. And in the red corner from Augustina Brow, we have a bottle of the Augustina Brow Idle Stoff coming in at 5.6% ABV and from the brewery to Guernsey we have a bottle of their Max Joseph export beer coming in at 5.2% ABV so then, you've, uh, I've done both these beers, I've, I've reviewed them separately. Um, I must admit, I consider this to be one of the, the best lagers in the world, okay? But, it's only when I discovered this beer and had a bottle of this, it got me thinking that this can challenge this and I think this is going to be an interesting battle. I really, really do. I think this one's going to go close to the wire. And the best thing about this battle is you can buy both these beers. You can go on to the House of Trembling Madness, get on their website, and you can buy both these beers. And you can do your own battle. After you watch this, you can do your own battle and find out what one you think is the better beer. Um, I think this is going to be, say, one of the closest ones. And like I say, we've got my trusty belt. Okay, and it's all to do with five rounds. Okay, so the five rounds are, first of all, we do the appearance of the bottle. Secondly, we pour it out and we look at how it pours out. And that's the next um, round, um, the appearance on the pour. Then we get the aromas. Okay, that's the next round. That's the third round. Then we have the taste. And then we have the price of the beer to buy it. Okay, and out of them five rounds, they get awarded a point if they win the round. If it's a draw, it's one point each. Simple. And out of five, hopefully at the end of the day, we have a winner to the battle of the beers. So without further ado, let's do round number one, which is the appearance of the bottle, the sort of the marketing blurb, that sort of thing. So round one, here we go. <coughs> ding, ding. Right, let's start off with the Augustina. Idle stuff. Look at the bottle. You know, that on a shelf, it's going to scream out to you. It's all that gold livery on there. You know, you're going to walk past, look at it, see all these beers on the shelf, see this with the gold livery, and you go, oh, what's that? What's that? You're going to look at it, you're going to possibly buy it just on how it looks. It looks good. It looks like this is something that's a little bit special because of the gold livery, because none of their other bottles have all this gold livery on. So, you know, you're going to look at it. Um, it's got obviously the Munchener beer, because obviously it's one of the big six breweries of, Mun uh, of Munich. Um, yeah, you're going to look at it, you're going to you're gonna buy this. But then you go and look at the Max Joseph. With its sort of 18th century sort of scroll work there. Um, it's quite a plain label, but it looks good. It's got, you know, the coat of arms on there, 1806 export beer. Um, you know, you put them side by side.
to be honest, and I'm going to be honest, it's, I don't think you can, I don't think you can split these just on the looks, to be honest. I think they both look inviting for anyone who's walking along a, a, a beer aisle, in a, in a supermarket, a bottle shop or whatever, and these two for sale, you're going to look at them both, and they're both going to appeal to you. So, round one, unfortunately, it's going to be a draw. It's going to be one each. You know, um, I don't think you can split them. I don't think, uh, you know, I think they both look very good in their own right. So, one all, going into round two, which is going to be the poor. So, let's start off with the, um, the Augustina Brow, idle stuff. Let's get it in the glass, obviously a correct glass for it. I'm going to be quite vicious on the pour as well. Like so. I only want to be vicious on the pour because I want to get that carbonation into these glasses. And to get a nice, nice head on there to promote a nice head. So let's do the, um, the Max Joseph. Here we go. Right then. First impressions on the pour. Well, straw coloured, lovely clear, plenty of carbonation, a beautiful three finger white tight foam head. Like I say, plenty of carbonation in there. Again, with a Max Joseph, a lovely pale straw colour, a beautiful three finger white tight foam head. Put them side by side. I don't think you can tell the difference. They could be in a, they could both be in each other's glasses. You're not going to tell the difference. They both look similar. Um, I don't think you can split them. I don't think you can split these two beers um, on the pour. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's another draw. So we're going two two at the moment. Two rounds, two two. I told you this is going to be tight. This is going to be one of the tightest ones I think we're going to do so far. So going into round three, which is the aroma. Right then, let's, uh, before we do the aroma, I'm just going to top these off, finish them up, top them off. There we go. There we go, we have both beers in the glasses now, topped off. Like I say, they still look exactly the same. You can't split them. So let's get the aroma. So let's go with the idle stuff. Oh, fresh hay, grassy, bready, a little bit of lemon pepper there. You know, it, it smells inviting. Um, like I say, this is why I consider this to be one of the best, the best uh, lagers in the world. It just smells awesome. Right, let's go with the Max Joseph. I tell you what, exactly the same notes. I cannot spot the difference. On the aroma, even, even. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like it's the same beer. It's like it's the same beer. It's unbelievable. This you've got, to, you've got to try this. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I cannot tell the difference. They both smell identical. It's, you've got to go on the House of Trembling Man just to get yourself a bottle of this and literally go through this because I tell you what, it's going to mess with your head. It's messing with my head now. The aroma, I cannot split these beers on the aroma. It is literally, we're going into the fourth round and it's three all at the moment. Three all as we go into the fourth round, which is a taste. So then, 
the taste, the more important taste. So let's start with the Augustina Brown. It's like liquid gold. It's so soft, it's so smooth. It's grassy, it's bready, you getting that, that lemon pepper. It's got quite a sweet, malty back end on it. It's just a beautiful beer to drink. Now, I, I can drink this all night long. It is that, it is that good of a beer. I really, really rate this beer. There's a little bit of honeyness to it as well. The carbonation, even though you can see there's plenty of carbonation in it, it's quite a smooth beer, it's not very gassy. Um, that's that's why I consider this to be the best lager in the world. Because of this traits, you know, I could just sip away at this. I can take big gulps of it. It's just... Don't even feel like you've got a five percent beer in your hand. It is a Vorsprung Dirk technique of a beer. It's simple and it's good. Now we're on to the Max Joseph with the taste test. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's dry, it's grassy, it's hoppy, it's bready. You've got the lemon pepper. Um, <sighs> it's unbelievable. This is bonkers. I'm really, really having to think hard to be able to call this. The only difference, well, there's two differences between these between these beers, right? The first difference, that's 5.2, that's 5.6. Okay. Right, forget the ABV side, right? I'm not going to hold that against. The Augustina has a li little bit more of a lemony twang there. A lemony peppery twang than the than the Max Joseph. That is seriously that is the difference. That one's more lemony than that one. 
I've got to call the taste test as a draw. Because I like both. I cannot split both of these beers on the taste test. Now you might find that you might like the more lemony one or the more not so lemony one. So you might be able to split them on your own personal um, palate and the taste. I can't split them. I enjoy both these beers. They're very, very good. I can't split them. I cannot split these beers. This, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. And I really tried hard to get a winner in this round on the taste. Because I think this was the round that if anything was gonna decide the winner. And it hasn't. So we're going into the last round, right? It is for all going into round five, the price. Well, the price in the UK are, they're both the same price. They're both like 2 99 three quid a bottle. Um, in Germany, I would say they're probably about a Euro's 20 a bottle. <laughs> a, Euro, a Euro and a half a bottle max. So both these beers are, they're level pegging on the cost. This is unbelievable. This is a first on the channel. We have two beers here that have basically drew. It's a draw. It is five five. You cannot split these beers. I cannot split these beers. I don't think you can split these beers either. They are both that good. You know, it's great beer. Great beer. And then you'll pick this one up. Great beer. Sorry to disappoint those who wanted a winner. I cannot split these two beers. I cannot split these two beers. There is no winner. A first on the battle of the beers. Unbelievable. Mark Veganism. Um thank you so much for keep pestering me to do this because when i reviewed this i actually said in the review this needs to go up against the idle stuff it, it, it this beer is so good it needs to go up against the idle stuff because i think it's going to push it close and i actually said it's going to push it close i didn't realize it was going to push it this close It's a draw. And you can't even, I mean, anyway, the only rematches we are gonna get is basically you, my subscribers, buying a bottle of each and doing your own rematch and leaving me a comment below and let me know what you think. Like, you do your own rematch on this and tell me your findings. Let me know your findings. Because, you know, I could do a rematch again next week the week after, the week after, and I'm gonna come up with the same conclusion every time. This is a draw, this is a draw. Um, so look, get on the House of Trembling Madness, because I know the House of Trembling Madness has got both these bottles in stock, right? Go and buy a bottle, go and buy a bottle of each, right? Try them both like I have, alongside one another. And let me know your thoughts. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Did you prefer the, the idol stuff? Did you prefer the Max Joseph? Come on, let me know. Let me know your thoughts below on what you find on this. Because I think you are gonna, if you do this experiment, I think you're gonna find the same verdict as me. It's a draw, you can't split them. These are, in my opinion, the two best lagers in the world. The two best lagers in the world. So look, go and get a couple of bottles, try it, see what you think. 
leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and like this review right hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.